Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and in front of me is the wonderful MPC Key 61. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you an overview of the extremely powerful instrument called Fabric XL. Now over here on the MPC Key, we can go into this plugin here and the way that these instruments work, I've mentioned this if you've watched any of my other videos giving an overview of the instruments. The instruments are set up very similar to virtual instruments in your DAW on a computer. So you have the tiles that represent the virtual instruments and then inside each one we can go to the edit instrument and that would be like bringing up that instrument in your DAW. And we have a lot of different ways to adjust and customize our sounds within the edit instrument. Now before we go there, Let's go back in and I wanted to talk about this screen right here because this instrument is extremely powerful with hundreds and hundreds of sounds and combinations of sounds and they've put a lot of presets together for different categories. So similar to other keyboards out there, within the Fabric XL instrument, there's a ton of different categories. Pianos, electric pianos, strings, plucks, bass, guitars, brass, all of that within this one instrument. So while there is a dedicated piano instrument, electric piano instrument, studio strings instrument, this Fabric XL instrument also has some really great sounds in it. And in the coming days, I'm gonna be putting together some videos. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to demo the presets because there are so many. Now, we have two pages of categories. These folders are categories. And if we go into one, so let's take the plucks for instance, then we have multiple pages of presets for the different plucks. I mean, there is a ton here. These are all presets that they've put together with effects and layers and things like that that give you a really quick starting point to play. So if we go back into the edit instrument. We can also scroll through the presets here and you'll see that we have the various categories and then we can click down on the encoder to go into that category. So let's say we go into preview and then we can scroll through the presets that are in the preview category. So let's just go to tenderness and you'll notice the screen updates with the preset we selected. Now we could play this As you can see, beautiful sound already. Let me just scroll to this next one, Emotional Case. This is an electric piano with that same string sound, but they've done some tweaks to it. So notice. <laughs> two presets and I'm getting lost already. So bringing it back, let's talk about the instrument itself, this edit instrument page and what you can do within here. So I think the two most important things here are you have two layers, layer one and layer two. And you'll notice one and two are marked here on this tile. So we can easily enable or disable these by tapping on these one and two tiles here. So if I'm playing this, I want to switch to just the strings, I can take the electric piano out, bring the suitcase electric piano back in, take the strings out, and this doesn't really mute the layer but it just disables any future notes. So watch what happens if I bring the strings in and then I play something and bring them out, the strings are gonna continue with the notes that I already played. It's just new notes are not gonna pick that up. So what's really cool about this is 
it's not cutting the layer. And I think that's huge because sometimes we want to start with the strings and we want to bring the strings in. And this is actually, let's go back to that uh, tenderness preset and let's take the steel guitar out. And then we want to bring that guitar in. So really cool that you can enable and disable. Now, if you want to adjust volume, you can do that very quickly with these two sliders here. So let's say we want a little bit more guitar. We want to bring the strings in now. Really cool. Now, you can do the same thing with these pan knobs. We can click and drag and actually affect the panning. And really quickly change the pan. Now, I don't do that as much live, maybe you do, um, but for me, I keep them pretty much set and then adjust the volumes or enable and disable. I do this a lot on the Nord Stage 3. I'll go into a worship set and I'll have a piano and a layered pad underneath. Now, I don't always want that synth pad sound, and so I'll disable it for some of the song and then I'll bring it in, and the Nord Stage 3 does have a button to turn that layer on and off, but it cuts, and so I really like how this keeps the notes I already played going and allows me to then disable any future notes. I think that's really cool and actually a really powerful feature for live use. Now you'll notice there is a little border with a Q. So if we just hold down on these knobs, you'll see that we can change the bank with the top knob, which would be right now we're in acoustic guitars, the sample, which is the steel string pick, and then the pan and the layer volume. So how we've dragged here, you could also use this Q-Link knob here, and you could jump over and use the Q-Link knob as well. I kind of like dragging on the screen. I think it feels good, and it, you'd have to cycle through to get back to the first layer because there are actually four banks of Q-Link knobs, so you have to cycle through them. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. It's just, for me, is easier to drag on the screen. That volume bar is, is plenty large. So down here, we have some settings, cutoff, res, attack, release, form and sample start, delay, reverb, some quick adjustments right here on the panel. So we could go in, and this is for your entire sound, so both layers at a time. And let's load up the emotional case. We can tweak these and that affects both of our layers at the same time. So think of it as one preset, two layers, and these affect the preset itself. Now what's really interesting here is there's a lot of pages within this edit screen. So you'll notice there's three little dots under main and there's like four or five under each of the layers. So you can tap on this main tab multiple times to switch between multiple setting pages here under this one tab. So it's main, percussion, and settings. Now, not to dive too deep into this because it's supposed to be an overview, but you could hold shift and move backwards through those tabs as well. Kind of a nice little tip there. Percussion allows us to add some percussion to our layer. So it almost acts as a third layer. And then we could change the percussion by going here and we have a ton of different percussions. And then we could go in and we could actually change, let's say, the cutoff on our percussion. We could change the octave of that.
So almost like a third layer that you can put in there that they call percussion. It's a little bit more limited, but it allows you to kind of bring in a little bit of um, characteristics into this sound. One more thing on the settings here, we can actually can do some transposes right from this plugin rather than going to keyboard control and doing that. Um, that might be a better option if you want your future sounds that you select to be transposed. But if you wanted only a single preset to be transposed, you could do that from right within here. You can set glide times, your pitch bend range right now is set to two, but we could bring that up. It's just a ton of ways to customize and we're only on the first page here. So let's jump to layer. Again, I'm not gonna go into detail in this, but I just wanna walk you through. So up here along the top, you have five tabs. You can cycle between them by just tapping on layer or you can tap on the tabs themselves up here. We get some really cool um, ways to kind of visualize the different settings that we have. So on each of these, we have ways to drag because this is multi-touch, we can go in and we can drag on this screen these values. So here under filter, we could change those values, amp, same, and then we could set the sample range, so the low key and the high key. So if you wanted to split your keyboard, you could do that here as well. And then that same volume and pan that we see back on the main page are on the layer as well. So you can set those there. So then we have our effects and there's a lot here. And these are not taking up your insert effect slots on the track. So what you can do is chorus, tremolo, phaser, flavor, EQ, amp, cabinet, uh, compression, delay, and reverb all within this plugin. And now these do apply to the preset, not just a unique layer. But real quick here, I'll just kind of cycle through these pages and there's a next page here. So we can actually see all of them here. We have our chorus tremolo phaser effects, our flavor and our EQ, four band EQ here. We have our amp modeler, our compression, delay, reverb. We can turn them on and off by tapping on the header here or a really quick way is just tapping on this bar down here. So no matter where you are, you can quickly turn on and off the various effects by just tapping on these little tiles down here. Really cool. Again, Q-Link knobs are tied to all the different controls here on this page. So here we could adjust our EQs with the Q-Link knobs or by dragging on the screen because it is multi-touch and it works beautifully. Now we've got our MIDI settings as well. So we can set what all of these different things, the mod wheel, aftertouch, etc., control for our sound. So just a ton of ability to customize these. And I think this is probably going to be something that I use live because I feel like there's so much power here, but it lends itself a little bit more to that live use of being able to tweak things on the fly, especially with the enable and disable and not doing a hard cut. To me, that enables me to have a dynamic two-layered sound that I can kind of change in little adjustments over the song that I'm playing live. So I think that's really cool. Um, if we go back to our sound page and we just take a look at some of the categories, there's, there's a lot of things here. So bells, pads, warm pads, slow pads, um, leads, soft, hard leads, classics. You have acoustic and electric guitars, bass guitars. So electric guitars, just to kind of show you some out of the box sounds that they have in here, we have maybe a Les Paul lead. We have a strap mute plus open. I won't go into all of these, but uh, let's check out the acoustic guitars. There's some really cool ones with the steel string and harmonics. So this one has almost like a volume layer. They 
also have steel string and slide. Again, when you play it softer, so when you hit it harder, it slides in. There's also aftertouch that's doing a little vibrato. I would take that off with that one, but just the the amount of sounds that are in here, bass guitars, choirs, brass. I think the French horns sound pretty good. We have the trombone and trumpet sections. So a lot of different sounds here. I'm gonna stop there because I could spend the next hour just kind of going through these different categories and playing around with the sounds. So again, I'll figure out a way to start demoing these for you guys because if you don't own this yet and you're looking to pick it up, wondering if it has the sounds you need, I want you to be able to hear those to help you in making your decision um, whether or not to get the MPC key. So if you have any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll be watching those comments to see if there's um, some videos that I can pull out of there. If you have uh, different sounds that you'd like to hear demos of, some of these categories, uh, I'll flash them on the screen here. So if there's any that you really uh, want to see some videos on, I'll kind of gauge the interest and then make some videos around maybe some of those categories. Find a way to group them, but really want to demo some more of these for you. Um, so that'll be coming here in the future. A lot of cool videos. I've filmed quite a backlog of these videos that I'll be putting out regularly. So make sure you're subscribed. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.